Hello and welcome to everyone. Today our guest is MMA fighter Fabio Sharan. Fabio, thank you so much for accepting uh, the invitation for the interview. And uh, can you please get to know our fans with your score, with your results, with your records? Um, should repeat that one more time? Uh, can you please say something in general about yourself? You know, general records, results, uh, very foot. Um, I'm Fabio Charant, aka the Water Buffalo. Uh, my professional MMA record is six and one. I'm fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts. Born in New York, Brooklyn, New York. Um, I'm the East Side kid, you know. Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, when did you start uh, training uh, MMA? I started on my 21st birthday. Um, I got invited to a gym, and uh, one thing led to another. Four months later, I was getting ready for my first amateur fight. So you decided to start uh, competing early on, right? Um, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I wasn't expecting it, but um, my coaches were showing me a lot of praise, you know, telling me that I should compete, and they thought that I was... I was good enough to compete, and I just said, screw it, let's do it, you know? Um, what, what's the worst that can happen? I lose? Actually, uh, your fundamental martial art is, I assume, MMA. You said uh, you started competing very early on. So you're a mixed martial artist, or you come from other martial art? No, no, I started when I was 21. Um, and when I started... I started with just wrestling, and then I turned into boxing, and then I joined the actual MMA gym where they mixed everything up, and from there, everything, it, everything happened in a short window. Within the four months of me accepting a fight, everything happened in a very short window. Yeah, from uh, the matches I saw, from your matches, I would have never said that you kicked off with wrestling, you know, uh, kind of a bit surprised to me. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I never wrestled in high school. I don't have a background in wrestling. I don't have a background in any kind of martial arts. Um, I, like I said, when I picked up on it, I just went with everything that was thrown at me. And, um, you know, we're, we're here right now and um, hoping, hoping big things are happening soon. Can you please elaborate your nickname? The Water Buffalo was given to me by my coach, Local Lobo. Um, I'm not really too sure the, his whole mindset behind it, but like at first I hated it, but as, as, uh, time went on, it kind of just stuck, you know, and, uh, I enjoy it now because it's, it's different in the sport. Um, you don't see a lot of different nicknames, you know, and most of the nicknames you see are very cliche and, um, I like, I like being called that because it's different. I stick out, you know? Yeah, it's good. Same, the same story like my nickname. I hated it in the first place, but then, you know, uh, 100 fans was like, here, here, I was like, all right, you got to, to accept it, got no choice. Uh, yeah, can you please discuss your first amateur MMA fight? Um, it was tough. Um, I wasn't expect. I've never been in the position like that before. Um, I was... Like I said, four months into training, so I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I wasn't ready. That's for damn sure. Um, but I was so used to that football mindset of like game game days and like how everything work, and I thought that's how it was gonna be. But it's completely different than stepping out on the field uh, for football. It's it's you, literally you versus another man in a cage locked, and um, I think. Um, had an adrenaline dump, which caused me to gas out. And you know, um, I think I think my uh, my my fights after spoke for spoke for that. You know, um, and if I was able to redo that fight again, like go back to my first ever fight, it'd be a different story. Uh, but your first professional fight was actually good, right? Yeah, thirteen seconds. Yeah, that's why I'm asking you. That's uh, you got to agree with me. It's a very, very major difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was funny because the guy that um, the guy I was fighting um, had said that he was gonna um, keep the fight standing up, 
because he thinks his striking was better because up until my last fight, not a lot of people know about my striking. So they thought I can't strike. And um, this guy went for a single leg and I just took, I took his neck and, and 13 seconds later, the fight's over. Yeah, you did the same thing uh, in your next fight. The same submission or different? Yeah, yeah. A little bit longer though. Yeah, um, yeah you know, I, I, I like to, I take what's given to me, you know. Uh, I'm not one of these fighters that's like, oh, I'm here for the fans, I'm here for this, I'm here for, like, I don't get paid by the hour. I get paid to show and to win, you know. Um, if I have an opportunity to end the fight, by by choking somebody, that's what I'm gonna do. If I have the opportunity to knock him out, obviously I'm gonna take it. But if if I have life gives you lemons, man, you make lemonade, you know. So I, I make lemonade, and um, that, that's what exactly what I did, you know. Um, it, it's it's not how I wanted to win the fights, but it's what was given to me. Uh, do you have a, a trademark? Uh, you know. Something that makes you famous in the world of uh, MMA. For example, Water Buffalo is famous for something, you know. For example, right hook, uh, I don't know, take down or... Do you understand the question? Um, no, I don't think I have anything like that yet. I'm still very new to this game. Um, I think I need a lot more, more, more fights under my belt before I can have uh, one of those. You know, yeah. need time, need time. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you finished uh, next two opponents via rare naked choke, so what was the secret behind that choke? What do you mean? Well, how did you finish them? I mean, it was pretty much good arm under the neck, very, very locked in tight. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really uh, special to the to it. I'm, I, I just, like I said, I take what's given to me. If you're going to give me your neck, I'm going to take it, you know? Like my la my second to last uh, fight that I just fought previous before this last one I fought, I finished it with an anaconda. You know, um, these are all submissions that I, I I catch people with sometimes. You know, and and it just happens that like it happened in the fight. You know, it, I I don't think about it. I just do it. You know, it, it's just it's, it's 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 I'm going with the flow. Yeah, your only loss happened at Dana White Contender Series, so what can you say about that fight? Uh, how did it go? I mean, uh, Alex is now competing in the UFC. I mean, it didn't go good, um, <laughs> but it's the fight game, you know. Um, it was his day, it wasn't my day. He's a stud. Um, super happy for him that he's in the UFC and he's competing with high-level guys. Um, I think if we were to fight again, it's going to be a whole different story. And I know we're, we are going to fight again, and it is going to be a different story. And, um, yeah, I think I made a, I made a rookie mistake, and, and I paid for it, you know. I didn't set up the shot. I went in for the, a crazy shot, and he jumped up for a, hip, a knee and caught me, you know. And um, I wasn't, like, rocked or, or, or knocked out or anything like that. It just... I broke my jaw, so that's the only thing like that that helped me back from like getting back into like a recovery state. But like I said, next time it's a different story. Yeah, I hope you two are gonna fight next time because I really think uh, you know when they paired the uh, the two of you. I was watching yours fights, his fights. I was thinking it will go the distance. I I thought so as well. I thought so as well. Um, they, I think. What happened was, is the second round I hurt him, and he got put in a stay where um, it was go big or go home, and that's what I thought. Um, that's what a lot of other people thought. He got really hurt, and and his mindset went from 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 being in like fight or flight. You know what I mean? He's just like, okay, go big or go home, and he went big, and he, he got he got the reward. You know, so. But yeah, um, next time if we fight, it's it's a different fighter he's going against. Uh, what do you think about LFA? I've interviewed many LFA fighters and they praise the promotion. You fought at LFA. Your thoughts? Yeah, I love I love LFA. LFA is a great promotion. Um, where uh, <clears throat> I'm super happy they gave me the opportunity to fight for them. Um, 
my, my manager's in touch with them about possibly returning if I don't get a call, a short notice call, or or or, uh, or being on the contender series again. Um, but yeah, it's in the talks between LFA, CES, and maybe something short, you know, so we'll see what happens. Uh, when you mentioned the CES, what do you think? Does CES have stronger opponents or it's LFA? Which promotion has stronger, more powerful opponents? Um, that's a tough question. I mean, uh, both, both, I fought on both cards during COVID and I got two pretty tough opponents, you know what I mean? Um, I think obviously by paper you see that CES gave me a tougher opponent because I went three rounds with the guy and and I threw everything at him and that man did not drop. And then I fought a guy at LFA who's he's tough as well. I took him out in 57 seconds. But I don't. I just think it's it's the luck of their draw. I don't think it's who has a tougher opponent. I think it's the timing and what who who gets brought to to the table. What do you think about your last opponent? I was very much surprised. I was looking the fight and I couldn't believe what was happening. You threw a strike and he just come on, come on, come on. Um, you know, um, I uh, I knew I was gonna win. Um, I didn't think I was gonna. It was gonna take three rounds. But I was prepared, you know. Um, I I watched film on him, and everything I saw, it was just. I, I, the only thought I thought in my head was how much better I am than him, you know. Um, he's never fought anybody that could mix it up like I can, which which showed in the fight. He had nothing. He, I think he might have hit me twice in the face, um, but like it, it just. He's he was a tough, he was a tough opponent, but I think it might have been too early for him. You know, uh, I'm not saying that I'm that much better than him. I just think maybe one or two more fights. You know, but um, he's a gangster for doing what he did. You know, he came up in weight class, even though he's already fought at light heavyweight before and fought another killer at light heavyweight. Um, it's just I'm just I was better. You know, um, if we fought ten times, I'd beat him ten. I just, I know how good I am. I know where I belong. I just, it sucks that that <laughs> I had to take that O away, but that's what happens, you know, in this fight game. I've got, I got my O taken away, and uh, there's going to be a lot of other fighters to get their O's taken away, you know? Yeah, I agree with you. All right, uh, this is one question that I don't like to ask, but uh, you mentioned that there are potential LFA, UFC contender or... What would you like as your next step? Uh, would it be contender again? Um, I would like a short notice fight for the UFC or just be brought in, you know. Um, but I'm a realist, you know, so like I said, um, LFA, CES, whichever one is bringing me somebody to the table and whatever fight's going to get me to the next level, I, I'm ready for it, you know. I, I Just one thing I told my coach is, and, and my, man, like my manager, whatever whatever it, it takes. I want dogs, you know. Um, it, it, that's the only thing that the UFC is looking for, is me fighting dogs and proving that I belong in the next level. Excellent. Uh, would you like to add something to this interview? Is there maybe something we didn't say? Maybe something I forgot to ask? No, man. I think, I think you asked me a lot of good questions. Yeah. All right. Uh, anybody to greet? Anybody to mention? Uh, just shout out my teammates and uh, my sponsors for helping me get through the last couple months, a couple camps, you know. Um, without them, this wouldn't be possible. That's basically it. Thank you so much. I will start creating video now. We'll let you know when I finish. Hope to have it online in a few hours. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You as well.